Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Magnus, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Civilization 5. I think it's, did I say part 11 already? Because I meant to say part 11. Let's play Civilization 5. We're playing New World, playing as Polynesia. We are actually doing really well, and what I think is actually the fastest path to victory is actually a diplomatic victory. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to try to get my world ideology true, because I have a lot of votes. So I'm going to try to get freedom in, because that will give me two additional delegates. And uh, I am going to start bribing city-states one by one, because I have a lot of money. Um, a lot of city-states are pissed with me, though, so that's a little bit... So I'll need to trade with Lhasa first and foremost. Wittenberg I'll need to trade with. Beograd, I can actually get as an ally relatively easily, but I need to do the trade quests as well. Because, um... I actually... Mm, I could buy... Ify, maybe? Yeah, that actually works. We can buy that city-state. I have a lot of money, but I shouldn't waste it all. But I think a diplomatic victory is actually probably the best course of action right now, because Dido's Empire is pretty huge. It's gonna take a pretty fucking long while to take down her army. And I am pretty sure that if I get enough trade routes up, then I can simply just trade my way to victory. Yeah, people don't like that. I'm gonna get voted against. But you know what? It's actually fine. So I'm gonna trade with Beograd. And trading gives me so much influence per turn. It's absolutely insane. That, that policy is broken beyond repair. Uh, and I'm, of course, talking about the... Uh, Treaty organization. Four more speed at standard speed per turn when you trade with a city-state. That is absolutely ridiculous. So I think with my next policy, which I'll get in 19 turns, I will pick patronage. That way, I can um, I can actually uh, <laughs> get the one that causes my influence to degrade slower. Then I'm going to trade with Lhasa because I have a lot of repairing to do with Lhasa. I think I pissed them off quite a bit in the last war. I have a pretty large fleet, but that's fine, actually. Because uh, that will discourage the other guys from attacking me. At least that's what I'm hoping will happen. So I'm going to send some ships around here. Just to protect my, uh, my cities. There we go. Amsterdam is mine. It is puppeted for the time being. I'll unpuppet it as soon as the resistance is over. And now people are going to be quite pissed pissed at me for taking their cities. But yeah, my science is absolutely insane right now. Um, I'm probably going to have to play some specialists in the research labs. Just going to have to rebuild my workforce, like so. Alright, so what city-state do I want right now? Sidon, since like, yeah, definitely. And, I, and they also have a trade quest, so let's get that over with. There we go. Uh, I'm building research labs, and that's good. Let's place some specialists in there immediately. Uh, oh, that city is burning. <laughs> Alright, there we go. But yeah, I'm gonna go for patronage. I hope... Uh, that city will burn down before I can do anything else, sadly. I'll lose that great work of uh, music, but you know what, that is actually completely fine. Alright, so, what other city-states do I want to trade with? Sidon would be nice. Sansibar would be nice. Sofia would work, actually. Yeah, I need I need, need to go after the ones Dido has. So I'll go after Sofia. Uh, I can't trade with Sofia. Where is Sofia? Let's see. Tyre. Oh my god, it is actually impossible to trade with Sofia, because they're... Uh, Alright, then I need to send one of my spies to Sofia. I'll send the one from Manila to Sofia. Uh, there we go. That is actually really interesting. You can't trade with that city. Lol. Alright. Uh, so we just gotta focus on... I think I'm already trading with Beograd. Let's trade with Sansibar. If we can. We might already have a trade route with Sansibar. Let's trade with Eif then. Alright, great. Uh, that's... No, that's all of our trade routes. I think I'm actually gonna go for a hotel in Honolulu. I actually want hotels in all of my cities. Because uh, I'm getting generating a lot of culture. 
Also, I should grab this uh, work boat while I can. Getting some hotels in all of my cities might actually not be such a bad idea. Um, because with all my Maui's, the hotels will actually be really useful. Alright, let's see. Um, so yeah, Rotterdam is burning. Hey, wait a minute. We can move this over to Samoa. We suddenly... Ah, ha, ain't that lovely. Cool. So we don't, we won't lose it after all. Well, that is great. Perfect. All right, we actually we actually have a lot of, of tourism, which is kind of cool. All right, so let's see. Sofia, we want to trade with Sansibar. We want to trade with. We want to trade with Wittenberg. Uh, there we go. God, that is such a strong, fucking policy to have. But yeah, diplomatic victory sounds like the best course of action right now. So I'll need to look after things which gives me delegates. I'll need to make sure I have a lot of delegates for the vote so I can vote through the world ideology. I'm, I'm going to get everyone against me, but if I have enough votes, I can just take away all of their votes. So it's not really going to matter. Alright, my fishing boats are up and running again. Uh, I'll need another work boat, actually. No, we are... What? I'm not I'm not attacking you. What the fuck is up with you? Jesus Christ. Theodora, calm down. Okay, trespassing in Lhasa. Ooh, my uh, submarines are going through. They're just passing through, though. So, that's fine. Let's see. Build a work boat. Another cargo ship. We can trade with these cities. Probably want to keep trading with Bucharest, probably. Uh, yeah. Or we could trade with Sakaraman. Alright, you go here. So yeah, we're going to get crazy influence in these cities. So we're in Sofia, Vatican, Sakaraman. We should probably go for the cities which which are not allied with us. We have a spy in Vatican City. We have a spy in Sofia right now. We don't have a spy in Beograd. So we should probably move a spy over there. Uh, there we go. Where is it? Beograd, Beograd. There we go. Let's see. How many other city-states are there? Sansibar. We don't have a spy in Sansibar. The Vatican's we have as our allies, I'm pretty sure. Vatican City, there we go. Yeah, we should we should move a spy to Sansibar for sure. Alright, so there we go. Workboat is ready. Oh, we have oh, I thought no wait, here. We need a workboat here. Alright. It's gonna have to go around the long way, but fuck it. Alright. So look at look at our tourism right now. Like boom, it's gonna it's gonna skyrocket. We should probably build airports as well. So Also I do believe William has the Louvre. I should probably annex the city now. Boom! Suddenly 76 tourism. Yeah, I'm gonna annex the city now. University isn't a bad choice, actually. I am all for that. Should build an aqueduct. Monument, all of those uh, one-turn uh, things we should get. We have all of our sea resources here, so that's fine. But yeah, I wouldn't mind getting an uh, airport in. Get even more tourism. I want to keep the gold, just in case. <laughs> now Dido wants an embassy with me. But yeah, these, these city-states are slowly but surely... Going to uh, flip over to our side. I think my cat wants to play. Hey, cat. Meow, 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 meow. My cat is being... Oh, looks like we, we should probably have a spy knife as well. Do we honestly care about counterintelligence right now? We probably kind of do. I should get a trade... I think I have a trade route with Eiffel already. Just keeping my ships around. I should probably dock them. I'm not actually sure if docking your ships in your cities actually reduces your... Um, actually reduces your uh, it, out, output or the what, what the fuck you want to call it. I can't find the word I'm looking for. The maintenance cost. I'm going to see 
if that is actually the case. There we go. I don't think so. It might. But I'm actually not sure. But might as well. It doesn't hurt to do it anyway, does it? There we go. Alright. Okay. Go to sleep. I think it helps a little bit. Or it may just be... I mean... If we look at the social policy, look at what it says. It says garrison units cost no maintenance, but I'm not sure if ships are actually garrisoned or not. All right, nice. Dege promoted. That means we can uh, put him over on Eif. Um, or we just got Eif as our ally. Yeah, we did. <laughs> wow, that is actually fantastic. Uh, I think we can just keep killing guys with him, to be quite honest. That is probably a wise choice. All right, so let's grab an airport... Grab airports in all of our cities. Airports are really fun buildings to have around. Shh, ugh, stupid cat. You just got fucking in! I swear to fucking god, my cat is annoying me sometimes. Ugh, get out of the window. There you go. He just wants to run in and out of the window all the fucking time. And when he can't run in and out of the window, he screams like a little girl. Yeah, I forgive you for killing your spy. <laughs> That's what I love about having spies in my cities. Well, oh no, a denunciation. Who knows? England is denouncing me. Alright, so five turns until the World Congress. I would ideally like to get all the city-states by that point. And I am definitely... Oh, nice, a mobile sum. I'm definitely getting a Golden Age with this guy. 15 turn Golden Age is so nice. Uh, I'm gonna grab an airport here as well. Make sure we're working all the specialist tiles. There we go. I'm gonna work all them specialist tiles. Specialists are freaking awesome. We can actually go... Uh, I can go culture focus, actually. Or we can just grow our cities insanely large. Because our hap we have 63 fucking happiness, wow. Holy crap, when did this game get so ridiculously good? It's probably the strongest I've ever been in any of my DD games, to be quite honest. Taking Amsterdam was a huge victory. Absolutely massive. Could even go for the Great Firewall, that'd be nice. Then I won't get to kill spies though, because all of the spies will just die when they try to take my capital. Wow, I'm killing Koreans by... I'm actually not sure if I want to build the Great Firewall because I like killing spies. That's the thing about the Great Firewall. What I wish the Great Firewall would do is make it so that enemy spies always gets killed when they spy in your city. Instead of just reducing the steal rate by 99.9%, because that's just... You know, you want to kill spies. That's actually a resource. Since you, gain, you gain a lot of diplomacy for killing spies. You get a shit ton of it. So, just look at the city-states. They're all flipping over to me right now. Lhasa's coming along. They may uh, they may be a little bit resistant, but they'll come along. Alright, so I think I'm going to bribe as many city-states as I can now, right before the election. Uh, I can get Sansibar easily. Now I have Sansibar. And let's grab Sofia. We, I'm not actually sure if I can get Sofia... Before the election, 29 influence. We might. Ah, uh, no thank you. However, we have... Okay, I thought we had a spine, but obviously we actually don't. Maybe if I drop 500 gold on it, maybe I will be able to get something. We'll see. I should build banks and stock exchanges, really, to get more specialists. That is what I'm doing. Alright, great engineer again. I don't really know what we should do with all these great engineers. Well, we could go for the Pentagon. Pentagon is pretty nice. I guess we could go for the Great Firewall as well, guys. Suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Alright. Let's speed up the production. Let's get the two wonders immediately. Don't really know what we're gonna do with this guy. Uh, we're just getting military units everywhere. Alright, gonna send this engineer over here. Send this engineer into here. Yeah, we can go for the Great Firewall. After we're done with the Oprah House, we can probably go for banks and shits in all of our cities. We actually have a stock exchange right here, which is pretty kick-ass. 
Hydro plant might, I, might actually... Nah, it's not even... I don't think it's worth it, to be quite honest. But I want banks in all of my cities. Banks are pretty cool. Banks are pretty dank. Uh, yeah, definitely. All right. So, assign delegates. Let's uh, try to get uh, world ideology freedom true. I don't, I don't think it's going to work. But we can try. It's definitely not going to work, but we can try. The two delegates would be huge for the diplomatic victory. Also, we can get jet fighters now. We could still get attacked, even though we have a pretty massive army. We could still get attacked. Alright, so that's that. And now with the Great Firewall, there is no point in having this guy around in Honolulu anymore. So I am just going to see. Okay, so what? Hmm. We have a Spy in Sansibar. We have Eif. We... Huh, have a Rank 3 Spy in Sophia. Don't really know where we're supposed to send that spy. Antwerp, maybe? 386. 386, yeah, that's not... We can send him to Mombasa, I guess. Mombasa! I killed Mombasa! Where is Mombasa? There is Mombasa. So yeah, I'm not gonna get stolen from ever again with that thing. Oh, Dido's completed the Apollo program. Ah, that's not so early at all, really. Alright, so did we get it? Uh, did we? We're, no, not victory progress. I'm looking at the World Congress. Uh, yeah, we did get it. World ideology, freedom. That is fantastic. And I want salt and gems. Can I get that from anyone? I don't think so. Well, I might be able to buy it from Dido. If I pay a very not steep price, awesome. nah, I'm not gonna get it. Yeah, I'm the bloodthirsty one right now, apparently. Alright, so let's build banks, and let's build stock exchanges. That's more specialist slots for us to work. God, Honolulu is gonna grow so... F <laughs> Size 34 right now. I should go for medicine, medicine labs, actually. Fuck, fuck this research right here, I, I should go for penicillin. Ecology and nuclear fission. Hell, I should go for freaking. Uh, now that I think about it, I should go for telecommunications. Alright, time to adopt a policy. I'm probably just going to go with patronage, I think. Um, or I could go for culture. Now, I'm going to put a point into patronage. That's going to cause my influence to degrade 25% slower. That will ultimately help me towards securing all the city-states in the game. Carthagian Coop in Mombasa, I should have known. However, I have the cash to just throw her out. So, uh, they want me to generate a great profit. Yeah, I need a... I do believe I have a spy in Mombasa. Why, why aren't you doing your job, Mr. Spy? That's what I want to know. Alright, stock exchange in Honolulu. Elizabeth has completed the Manhattan Project. That is worrisome. William has one measly little, little city remaining. I fucked him up good. <laughs> Rocket artillery. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. Good luck attacking my uh good luck attacking my shit in the near future. Alright, let's go for a bank. I'm actually gonna great get a great engineer very soon. Don't really know what I'm gonna use him for though. I guess I can't really spend anything else with fate, so why should I I don't know. Why should I bother, really? Alright, tire election shenanigans. Hmm. Sorry, but I'm taking that back. Alright, let's go for a stock exchange. Probably that means we can place another specialist as well. And we're gonna get hotels. We actually have pretty decent tourism right now. Um, maybe we should go for open borders and shit. I don't know. Could work. Carthage is getting along. I mean, I could go for open borders. I don't think they want to sign open borders with me. No, nah, they definitely don't. It's not even a point. Alright, let's grab a stock exchange. It's a bank. This works a bank. Do, 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 do. I haven't even done anything with my dig sites. 
<laughs> oh, Carthage uh, settled another city. It's actually near the oil, so I, I can actually understand the settling of that city. It's not... Uh, Alright. Another world leader proposal. Don't think I'm gonna get this one. I need 38. Fuck, I need, I need to befriend all the city-states. That's what I need to do. And I can't do that. I'm afraid. Go grab a museum, I suppose. Could actually what I could grab is I could yeah, I could get another spy by building constabularies or in all of my cities. I could get the um I could get that special building which gives you an extra spy. That would actually work. Yeah, I think I'll do that. All right. Don't think I'm going to win on this vote unless I can suddenly flip over a lot of the city states. Lhasa are really pissed with me. No wonder I have... Why haven't these submarines moved? What the hell? What the fuck's going on here? What? I thought they were on their way. Apparently they're retarded and doesn't want to move. Hey, submarines can actually... No, they can't move through borders. Well, that's freaking retarded. My subs have just been standing there and fucking cock-blocking Lhasa. If I don't have a trade route, yeah, I definitely need to keep up my trade route with Lhasa. Wow. Well, I can just dump a bunch of gold on them, I suppose. Well, I'm not trespassing there anymore, so that's good. Repair fleet! Yeah. I just did that. That's how much I care about my great admirals at this point. Alright, we have a fucking crap ton of money. Jesus Christ. I wonder if anyone has any quests to destroy that barbarian encampment. Nope. I think it's been cleared out, to be quite honest. Pretty sure it's been cleared out. Lhasa. Ooh, yeah, of course. I should be leading in the culture department, but 35 turns. That's quite a lot of turns. Alright. Let's get these guys away from Lhasa so they aren't trespassing anymore. And our influence with Lhasa should uh, go up just fine. Alright. So, we have two specialist slots to work now. The stock exchange is pretty good for that if you like specialists. And what's nice about that is that my Honolulu also grows faster because my specialists eat so little food. <laughs> it's kind of stupid to build... Uh, oh no... It's kind of stupid to build constabularies when you have the Great Firewall, but hey, I'll take whatever wonders I can get at this point. Silver from Sansibar? Alright, so now I'll need police stations. Uh, I'm just going to make sure all of my specialist slots are worked. Research lab, always got to keep an eye out for that. My golden age ends, but I'm going to get a new one in 16 turns, because I'm getting 89 happiness per turn. Wow, I don't think I've ever been happier. Holy fucking shit, I am so fucking happy. Then I'm going to grab telecommunications as well. That's going to be great. Like, look how... I'm getting a lot of freaking... I don't have a spy in Lhasa. Are you kidding me? That is so fucking stupid. I should move a spy over to Lhasa immediately. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm so fucking stupid. Alright, seems like I got myself an engineer. I have a lot of those these days. Don't really know what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> I don't really have... I have a shit ton of tech though. 1400 fucking tech per turn. I don't think I've ever seen that much tech. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, that, there's my engineer. Yeah, I'm sending this guy over here. Just to wait for wonder building. Probably just kind of pop, to be quite honest. There we go. And create a great work. I, reckon. I might actually be able to get some solar plants. Oh, what the hell? A barbarian... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, barbarian paratroopers. Now I've seen everything. Um, let's go clear out that encampment. We might. There might actually be a city-state quest for it soon. So we can just bombard the barbarians as they spawn. Uh-oh. She just threatened me with a nuke. Yep. Just the Dido things. We can get the Sydney Opera House, I think. Yeah! Sydney Opera House would be nice. That hasn't already been taken. I think it has already been taken, but fuck, that would be insane. 
I wish it would show when you attack if the if the thing has been taken. That would be nice. Which should be like an X next to the wonder on the tech tree if it's been taken. I would actually really like that. Also, why haven't I built my workboats? I have a workboat there which I should build. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to go for the National Security Agency, which gives me another spy, which gives me another uh, way to influence city-states. And it also levels up my, lo my level 1 spy to level 2. That's great. And level 3 spies are pretty dope when it comes to rigging elections. They're really good at that. Alright, great. I don't give a shit about those barbarians. I'm just going to take that encampment and go home. Wow, people have been really slack at taking down ruins in this game. I could probably have gotten a shit ton of artifacts if I built archaeologists. <laughs> maybe I'll go for a tourism victory if I can't get the diplomacy victory. You know what? Maybe I should just spam a shit ton of archaeologists. Why not? I mean, they are fucking everywhere. No one's getting them. So maybe I should just do it. I don't know. Probably. I mean, hell, why not? To go production focus in Honolulu, I'm probably going to be digging up these dig sites insanely fast. Yeah. I think I actually want to do that. In fact, I'm going to spend an engineer on building a medical lab just for the hell of it. I'm going to put my city on uh, production focus now. Because, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go for police stations and medical labs and museums. There we go, police stations and medical labs, medical labs, police stations and medical labs. Probably grab a stable here as well. World leader, well, for every time I win this vote, I will get two additional delegates. So, slowly but surely, I will etch my way towards victory. Also, I have another trade route now. Amazing, I should grab that immediately. So yeah, now we have a medical lab. That also gives me happiness, as if I needed more happiness. <laughs> <laughs> my god 88 happiness per turn and almost 1500 science this is freaking amazing yeah getting Sunder sydney opera house would be really good um if i could get that i should also get the hermitage i need opera houses all right that's i can do that england stole penicillin how can you steal text from me seriously how is that even possible all right now we need to get even more um Hmm, we need to get more delegates. Can we get that somehow? I don't think so. I could go for international games and try to win that. That would actually be really cool. Uh, let's see, I don't have any religion, so that doesn't work. Um, I think international games, actually, is what we need right now. Alright, gonna continue trading with Beograd. Let's build another cargo ship. So yeah, no victory just yet, but in 30 turns we get the next world leader proposal, and I do think I should be able to win by then. Oh, would you look at that? Someone's picking the poor William down. Poor guy. Poor guy. Oh my god. Let's see if we have the possibility to build any solar plants. I think... Yeah, we can get the Sydney Opera House. Fucking amazing. Oh, that is so cool. Alright, so let's see if we have some solar plants that we can build. Uh, doesn't look like it, no. Nope. Can't get any solar plants, sadly. But, it's not like we need that anyway. Alright, so we'll get the Sydney Opera House. I wonder if we should actually go for some... Uh, if we should go for some uh, extra patronage. We could go for gold gifts, provide 25% more. That might actually be worth it. I think that's definitely one of the best ones we can get right now. Yeah, definitely. Alright, let's trade with Wittenberg. Okay, so who, which of these do we need right now? Oh my god, someone's stealing them away. Vatican City, definitely gonna trade with Vatican City. Alright, I'm gonna grab a Philanthropy, which means I should be able to bribe my way into some more city-states. And they have a gold gift, so that's 85 influence for me. Carthage is actually really, really uh, 
fighting me hard for this. Oh my god. Holy shit. Does Sidon have a spy? It should definitely have a spy. I'm gonna move. When I get my national security agency, I'm gonna um, put a spy into there because Dido is actually trying really hard to snipe these city states away from me. And she has a lot of money, so she can do that pretty reliably. Which is why I want the international games, because then I can get the one time boost with all the city states. Also, I just realized I am not working my crab. That is awful. That is a lot of food that I am missing out on. A lot of food and a lot of resources that I'm missing out on. I should definitely do something about that. So yeah, what city state did I just lose now? I lost uh, Sidon. Sorry. But I should trade with Tyre. I am already trading with uh, Sidon. So where did that thing go? There it went. Alright. Uh, but yeah, I was going to build some archaeologists. That's probably a good idea. So let's do that. But do we have the... No, we don't have the National Security Agency just yet. Actually, I'm just going to build a bunch of archaeologists from the city. Grab some artifacts. They're lying around anyway, so why not? Get some extra tourism. Always nice. If we don't get the diplomatic victory, we can always try and go for the tourism one. It's going to be hard, though. <laughs> it's going to be really fucking hard. But we might be able to pull it off, because we do have the Great Firewall. I kind of regret using my engineer to buy the, uh, to, to get the med medical lab, but we'll get another one in five turns. So, we will get the, uh, CN Tower. I do believe we are a tech leader, aren't we? Yeah, we are. So, we can get the CN Tower. That's huge. A radio tower and population in all of our cities. That's absolutely massive. That is really fucking like, cool. I love this wonder so much. And we can get the National Vi uh, Visitor Center, which is going to be even better. Alright, let's go and get that freaking crab. Alright, so what uh, ruins do we go for first? Let's go for the contested ones. We have a lot of artifacts to dig up. Holy shit, we have a lot of artifacts to dig up. I think we there are more artifacts on this map than we actually have room for with our archaeologists, to be quite honest. But more tourism is always a good thing. Alright, get the crab. Dig the artifacts. I mean, I don't even have aesthetics, so I don't I don't even think a, a culture victory is possible when you don't have aesthetics. But I'm still going to go for the artifacts. At least I can prevent others from getting them, right? I think that's viable. I think that's perfectly viable. Doo -doo -doo. Now I'm building medical labs. Alright, this is... Wow, I'm having so much fun with this game. This... This game is really going fucking well. It feels so good whenever you get a game that's going really well on DD. It feels so fucking great. Alright, let's grab this one. Yes, I do want to get that one. Alright, another one. Holy shit, yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at this now. Look how much science we're gonna get. 700 science per turn all of a sudden. Wow, I don't think I've ever had this much science. Ever. 1,752 science right here. That is actually pretty fucking sick. And we're getting a new golden age in two turns. Holy fucking shit. That is insane. And we get a great engineer lining up for our CN Tower. Life is good, man. And I think we can help out by building... Uh, yeah, we don't have anything to build here. So we can actually just uh, spam some archaeologists in this city as well. And start to rake up all those uh, artifacts. We have quite a lot of slots. Actually, not that many, but once we get museums up, we'll have more. Also, we should try to get a theming bonus in, uh, yeah. Different eras, but the same civilization. That should be pretty fucking easy. Yeah, we have two right here. So we can just, uh... Yeah, we can just get that immediately, actually. We just do this. Different eras, but the same civilization. That is probably one of the most... E okay, this is a good one. Two great w works of art and two artifacts with all four... Be oh my god, that is absolutely insane. Who a pendant. We have a pendant right here. Okay, Carthage and Polynesia. Ancient era, Renaissance era, Medieval era, and... Ooh, we'll need an artifact. 
We can probably dig one up. We can't use this one, because they're both from the medieval era. But if we dig up an artifact, which we will do very soon. I'm just going to pop this, by the way. If we dig up an artifact, which we will do very soon, then we can actually just very easily get that theming bonus, which is massive. Let's just go for satellites. Why not? There's not really anything we need right now. Also, I think, yeah, the Great Engineers, which we, which we were supposed to get, is now 20 turns away. Because the requirement to buy it actually increased. So actually, I shouldn't have popped that. I should have let the Engineer finish and then popped the Scientist. That was a massive, massive error on my part, actually. Alright, well. Uh, which city was it that we uh, needed to get? I think it was... not Lhasa. But Tyre, I think. Uh, wow, suddenly we have Tyre. Still, I'll move him to Tyre. Then we might just need to build the uh, the tower ourselves. Yeah, I think we were actually going to just hard build the CN Tower, actually. Because it's so fucking good. Also, we should get the East India Company because that is also ridiculously good. Yeah, I'm going to hard build the CN Tower. I don't see a reason why we shouldn't hard build the CN Tower. That wonder is just so freaking amazing. Also, we need slots, so we should build museums very soon as well. Alright, rigging the elections. Getting the infantry. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, don't think I'll be able to win in this perch. But it does seem like victory is uh, looming over the horizon. We'll see. I'm playing a really strong game now. Probably the strongest I've ever played, to be quite honest. Why is that city on gold focus? Fucking computer, man. So yeah, hope you guys are enjoying it. Please consider leaving a like and a comment if you are. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.